Okay. We are joined on Porn Crush today by Daisy Taylor. I was going to say one of the top uh, names in the in the trans uh, porn industry right now, or just the porn industry overall. Uh, you're right at the very, very top of that list after the AVN convention, Daisy, because you took home what I think is one of the more prestigious awards of the night, the Fan Award. Uh, for favorite trans performer, that's got. I've always thought that those fan awards have to make uh, the winner feel really, really good inside. What What, what did you uh, feel when you heard that you won that? Yeah, I mean, well, one, thank you. What a gr- what a great introduction. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I do, I do, I, I love the fan awards. It's very cool. Mm-hmm. It's obviously, of course, um, a blessing to be nominated for the big stuff. I love the fan awards. I think also too because personally I don't really I try not to market it like I don't uh-huh. re- I'm you know I'm not really posting like vote for me vote for me so right. I re- it really for me it does really really feel like a victory and it feels really really real because I'm really not promoting it that much yeah that's um, right you didn't campaign a lot for it yeah you just, just want it st- you know um, you're you're used to kind of the, the popularity is not new to you I think you've been a a pretty big name, a popular person ever since you were, you entered the industry, but you took some time away uh, <clears throat> for a little over a year, I guess it was, kind of right around COVID. Can mm-hmm. you just tell me about that process? I know it's really healthy a lot of times for performers, you know, to, to step back. What, what was that like and, and what did you do for that year? Yeah, so it's, it's funny. I feel like I've, um, so I, I think I started my career, I'd say five years ago now, so mm-hmm. 2019. Um, or, or I think I shot, I think I shot my first stunt thing with, with Groovy in like the end of 2018, but, mm-hmm. um, regardless, but. um, I feel like I've taken little breaks here and there. There was kind of, um, like a year long period in COVID where I kind of had stopped. Um, and then I returned and I filmed a little bit more and then I had another even longer break. Mm-hmm. Um, for the last two years where I really haven't shot for any companies. And I think most people, I have a lot of fans. I made, I made this, I like said, Oh, I'm coming back and doing all this stuff. And a lot of people were like, you left. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's, it makes me giggle because uh, there is still to this day, even though I haven't been active in a couple of years, there's mm-hmm. still to this day is a lot of retweets. And there's like a lot of people still pushing my shit, which I think is great. Yeah. And two, obviously shooting with, some companies, your stuff doesn't come out until way later. Mm-hmm. So I had already been been done for yeah. a while. But um, <clears throat> yeah, no, I think it's sorry. I just kind of went on a little that, ramble right that was there. Great, yeah, just kind of the thought process, thought process behind wanting to take some time off. I mean, is it just you had other things you're pursuing, or you just kind of needed a, a break? I think it's it's a couple different things. I I think that this industry has been really really great for me. Mm-hmm. I, th- I I think it's a toss up, and I think it's yeah. a toss up for everyone. There's both there's positives and negatives and everything. Um, but I will say that on the positive, I have gotten I've gotten a lot more confidence. Like I think that getting so much love from people has been has been positive, and I think it can turn to the other side where it can kind of feed your ego in a negative way, of course. Um, but I feel like it really positive is positively has helped me. I think though I did need to take some time off because I was working so much and I felt I was too involved. Mm -hmm. You know, I think like you get really, really wrapped up in it and you really like, you're talking to people, you're replying to people. It's like, there was a lot of drama in my life at the time. And I was in a relationship when I started my career. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And most of the people who followed me or who like came to know me was actually mostly through my porn hub Mm -hmm. um, and not so much my studio work. And so I got a lot of flack um, when we ended up not working out Mm -hmm. because people thought that I, people thought that I had broken off to, for greed or, you know, to, to further my career. Um, so there was a couple of times one for the one year period where I like needed to step back. And then for the last two years, I feel like I just really have been hibernating. I'm also somewhat of a, a monogamous, like I'm, I'm fairly monogamous. Like I don't really want an open relationship. I don't really want to be sleeping around. So, 
uh, whenever I date someone, I kind of go into a hibernation period right. and I've been dating someone for the last two years and I've not been shooting for that purpose. Right. Um, but I decided it was time. There was, there was yeah. just something, I don't know. Yeah. Just to backtrack a little, you know, I remember when you did break into the industry and it was like, holy shit, like, who is this girl? She's beautiful. She's doing these great scenes. And you, had, you know, like, like a lot of performers, you had kind of been struggled a little bit financially or whatever before that were kind of trying to find your place in life. When all of that happened so fast for you and you became this big name, like after a, you know, a month or two, what was that like? You know, you touched on it a little bit. Um, it's definitely crazy. Um, yeah, I think, I think, I think it's, it's, it, it was definitely wild. Um, it's funny because things like blew up on the internet very, very quickly. Um, but I feel like in real life, I really didn't see much of anything uh -huh. until I had done browsers, which was years, years into it. But yeah. on the internet, I mean, things blew up crazy quick. Yeah. Um, it was really, really wild. And I even argue a little overwhelming, but I, I do think that I have a decently good head on my shoulders. Yeah. And, um, I don't know. I, I knew, I kind of knew what I was getting into when I was getting into it. So yeah, I wasn't too bamboozled. You are <laughs> good word. Bamboozled. I got to use that in the story sometimes. <laughs> well, now you're, now you're kind of slowly, uh, you know, working yourself way back, working back into the industry. What did you miss? Was it just the, the, uh, the onset? You know, camaraderie. Was it the the scenes? Like, what what is what, what what's making you want to to start up again here? I think exactly what you just said. It's um, with this job, you really don't get to see um, like your colleagues or your friends all that much if you're not working together. And so, there's a lot of people and a lot of friends that I've made throughout the industry that I really really miss. Yeah. Um, I also too definitely miss, and I think this is what I forgot to say. Um. To one of your questions earlier what i love about th this industry and the companies that i've gotten to work with is that it's been such a good creative outlet for me because i've been able to write and to produce and to direct all these different things mm -hmm. um and make it more than just you know yeah. a, a, a pizza boy scene yeah. um yeah. so so i think that's what i missed is like one i miss my friends but two, I also do miss, like, there's a lot of projects that I didn't get to do, mm -hmm. like, two or three years ago that just kind of fell through. And it feels like I, I get the feeling like I'm like, oh, the, this is the right time. Mm -hmm. Like, the time yeah. is now. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't, yeah. Are you, are you going to be real kind of picky about who you shoot for? Or are you going to take on a pretty big schedule and, and shoot seven or eight times a month? Like, what, what do you, how, how quickly do you want to reintegrate here? Mm, I think I'm going to be pretty picky. Um, I was before, mm -hmm. and I think I'm going to continue to be fairly picky. I just, the companies that I shoot for do matter to me. And, um, but you, but it's not like I'm doing like one scene a month or two a month. I mean, you want, you want to kind of start working again regularly. Is that, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but is that what you're thinking? Or Oh, yeah, yeah. That's definitely what I'm thinking. Just with the companies that I think that will yeah. listen to my vision. I'm kind of a control freak, to be honest. <laughs> I'm kind of a control freak. And so I definitely want to... Um, I, I just want to do what I want to do. Because I also do feel like I've been in this industry for long enough. And obviously, I've made a lot of my own content where mm -hmm. I think I have an eye for I know what, what people want and I know what yeah. looks good. So... I struggle sometimes because, yeah. you know, it's just the porn, the porn formula period. It's just kind of one way. And it's like how you do things and you do, you know, the basic positions. It's like, it's all the same for everyone. So, um, I don't, I try not to be too much of a diva, but also I do want to switch it up. Yeah. I think you've earned the right to be a little bit of a diva, Daisy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what, uh, what, um, What's your take, though, on the debate kind of right now of the trans genre in porn? I, I Personally, just watching from afar, it seems like so many strides have been made in terms of inclusivity and, and not just that, but just the quality of some of the stuff we're seeing, the money that's being spent on scenes. Um, 
you know, for muses with Bree Mills and things like that. Yeah, yeah. How, how, why do you think that the industry has come so far in the last two or three years? What, what's happened that, to allow that? Um, I think it's a, I think honestly, it's a multitude of things. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, I think it's a, it's definitely internet culture. You know, I think this, my gen, like my generation and the generation younger than me, I think that like we are obviously getting more and more internet savvy and more and more Mm -hmm. attached. And so I think that, um, Honestly, ever since how I feel, like ever since Laverne Cox came out mm-hmm. and did the Times cover, truly it was, and I, I believe it said like, oh, like the transgender tipping point. And that was years ago and that was way years before. But truly, I do feel like it was. And I feel like Laverne Cox was the first yeah. like trans woman to really put all of us kind of on the map. Right. And so I do feel like after that, I don't... Mm, I I just think that the internet and how it changed and how it's grown in the last two or three years has been wonderful. I don't want to say that I feel like I've helped with some of it, but I do think a little bit. Not being diva, but of course, like, I was the first trans girl to shoot for browsers. Mm -hmm. And I think that that was a pretty huge accomplishment. Same thing, like, I'm very, I, I, I don't, I hope that my pride um, does not come across as arrogance or, you know, um, no, I don't think so. What's the word I'm looking for? Like con, I don't, I don't want to seem like I'm being condescending in any way, but I'm very, very proud of my Pornhub channel and the stuff that I've done on it, even though I have, you know, I've deleted, it's funny. I've deleted most of the videos on my Pornhub because they were all with people who I previously dated and they wanted me to remove them. So I did, um, but I'm very, very proud of the stuff that I did on Pornhub. And I I do feel like, one, it's both Pornhub and OnlyFans. Like, for me, I, I started to make shit on Pornhub, and it got crazy, crazy views. And I do think that at the time, it was very unheard of to see a trans girl just, like, being a girl. Mm-hmm. in a video it wasn't about my like that's the thing is like a lot of scenes today even though i still love the companies a lot of it is about the penis it's not even about the it's not even about me it's not even about the whole thing it's about like the the hard dick yeah yeah and when i made videos on pornhub with my ex it wasn't about that and it was just about us making love and that was kind of like completely unheard of at that point and i feel like that started its own whole other genre yeah yeah of not started but like helped usher in its own genre and i do think too again with only fans like i have been here long enough to witness the change now that people are able to completely sustain themselves 100 percent and be their own boss i've seen the change from people being very dependent on studio work yeah. and, you know, trying to get scenes to completely the opposite where studios kind of need us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. To keep it going. No, you're right. You're right. I just think too, I mean, I, 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 so many cis women now are shooting with porn, not just because of the, I mean, excuse, excuse me, shooting with trans women, not just because of the money, because they want to. I mean, I mean, yeah. I've met so many, uh, cis performers, I might say, oh, I, I talked to Daisy Taylor today. Oh my gosh, I want to shoot with her. Tell her I want to shoot with her. And I mean, I, I just think that's got to feel good that, that so many steps have been taken to, to, to get to that point, you know? It does. It really does. Especially because and I mean, too. I mean, you know, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. And again, like all, all, all my love to the people that I've worked with, especially the Kenzie Taylor, Kira Noir, like, yeah. you know, like, those girls were also doing it before it was cool. Mm-hmm. I do think like, it's a, not like a trend, but I do think that there are so many, so many trans creators now. And I think that that's so fucking amazing. And I think that all of us trans girls have a couple, we have a couple people who are like, Hey, I'm trying to shoot with my first trans girl. I did it, you know, mm-hmm. but those girls who've been shooting with us forever, like mm-hmm. my whole heart goes out to them. Cause it's, always just been about shooting with beautiful women and that's it i wanted to ask you too i know you 
correct me if I'm wrong, but it appears just from following you on social media that you've become a, a mentor of sorts to Amanda Riley, who I think is probably the next or one of the next future um, stars in this bit. What, what can you tell me about her and and uh, y'all's friendship? Well, you know what's funny? Um, Amanda is actually just one of my good friends in real mm-hmm. life. And um, her and I became friends a couple years ago. Um, and before she had ever even thought about doing, um, adult. you know, fans or adult work. Um, I think most of us trans girls are all kind of familiar with sex work to a form, you know, um, <laughs> because that's, we all kind of have to be. Um, but yeah, when uh, when she decided that, that, that it was going to be lucrative, I was just like, yeah, like, mm-hmm. duh. Yeah. I, I but I feel exactly how you feel. Like I'm like just just by looking at her, I'm like, obviously you're gonna be one of the next top girls. But aside from that, she is fucking hysterical. Like she's so funny and charismatic, and uh, like has a good personality. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I just I think she's wonderful, and I think that she's going to pop off in the next year. Yeah. yeah. Um. She's- yeah, I I just think that she's great, and I think that she's gonna do some cool yeah. shit. And again, I I I, and this is obviously not me saying that other girls aren't, but I just she is so funny, and like I miss that. I miss like I love Domino Presley, and Domino Presley has been like um a little bit of even a mentor to me as well, but mostly like an inspiration because she gets the joke like she is funny and she's got this like knowingness behind her eyes that like she's in on it you know like it's a it's another level to what she's doing um and she just elevates all the things that she's she's in and i feel the exact same way about amanda it's like she gets she gets the joke and she knows how to make it even better and yeah, I love that. Yeah, for her, I, the stuff I've watched of her, for her, considering how young she is and how new she is, I, she seems very seasoned and, and already and very uh, natural in front of the, the camera. So, hey, last, last mm-hmm. thing, um, the teaser this weekend, the, the Transgender Erotica Awards, uh, I know you're going to be there, you're going to maybe play a part in the show somehow, but what, what, just what's your overall take on, on that event? I, I've been once now and then thought it was absolutely great. I think Stephen Groovy and Crystal Penn, what they do uh, for the trans community is, is outstanding, but how excited are you about this weekend and, and what are you looking forward to particularly? I honestly am so pumped about the tease. I just, uh, there are people on the internet who have issues, but like I love Groovy and they have always been wonderful to me. Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> the teas I feel like are the most fun award show in my opinion because it's for us. Um no, <laughs> just because it's not it's not one of the overwhelming events. AVN is so much fun. Um same thing with porn awards are so much fun, but it is everybody's there. Everybody in the industry and out of the industry is there. So, I think it's the teas are more fun cuz it is a little more um, it's just like a little more close to home, but yeah, it's just a night where we get to celebrate and like, I get to see all my girlfriends all in one night. And that is, it's, I think that's, that's the thing about the T awards is that none of us ever get to see all of each other all mm-hmm. at the same time. So the fact that we're all going to be together, it's just, it's like the energy is explosive. Now, do you have any nerves going on right now in terms of like what you're going to wear and like what you're going to say? I know girls get like that sometimes at the awards show. Are you, do you have it all worked out? I'm a little nervous. I can't lie. I, I do already know what I'm wearing. Um, It's at the tailor. (laughs) Um, I, I am a little nervous just because it's been a long time. Um, and yeah, I, I, I think I've only appeared on the tease stage once as well. Like my, the, like that first year of 2019 was the year that I went and I was nominated for, of course, fan, the fan voted award, fan favorite. Um, yeah. 
So I'm a little nervous, but I know it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to get to see Natasha on yep. the red carpet, who's yep. one of my girlfriends. Um, yeah. It's it going to be a lot is. of fun. Well, Daisy, I'm going to be there covering it, and I'm looking forward to meeting you for the first time in person. I feel like we've talked. Uh, I know. So good to see you. But in the meantime, thank you for joining us today on this uh, little for this little chat. And I, I know all of your fans are really excited about all that's in the store. So I, I, sh I sure hope so. No, Austin, I appreciate you so much yeah. for talking to me today, and I cannot wait to get to see you. Yes. Again. Okay. We'll talk again soon. Thanks, Daisy.